little taller, Carter. There you go. Okay, so the whole idea on this, okay? The whole, yep. Yeah. Okay, let that right elbow be like a tray. We don't want to spill the food. Oh, there you go. Good. Uh-oh, we don't want to go underneath that line. We go underneath that line, then that ball's going to the right. Okay? So here's what's interesting, Carter. Try it again. He's a better role model. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> great golfer, though. Okay, so think in front, up. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Now, ideally, we have to make an arc with your club head, right? Okay, so what about your left elbow? Let me, ooh, ooh. Okay, so take it back, holding the tray with the right elbow, right elbow down, right elbow down, just like this. Yes. Now, slowly go down, slowly go down. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, Mandy, do you think? I'm gonna... Right, okay, be a little bit taller there. Okay, cover the thumb. See, and you need to pull those thumbs in, so that's how you don't get that little, okay, pull those thumbs in like this, towards you. you. Got it, got it. Okay, so he's gonna try to feel like he's going up like this, right elbow under, right elbow under, try it. And then he's gonna go here. This is a big exaggeration, right? And then here's the same thing, left elbow. Okay, and then now I'm going to angle it. So we don't want that club to get back beyond that. Here you go. Good. Right elbow under. Tray. Yeah. If you flick it down, where your ball would be. Okay. So we don't want, we always want the club head. We always, here, so come straight back here, Mandy, so you're in line with the. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. So we always want to keep that club head to follow that arc. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, this is a bit, yes, good, good, he's doing that, yes, this is so opposite because if we look at the line, he would have been on the bottom part of the line, now he's above it. Okay. And for him to practice this, it's okay. Yeah, well, just to kind of get the feel, like, I guess. That's a different, Carter? You got it. You got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that on pause. No, and really, the, the whole board thing is so he doesn't move too much. Yeah. Okay. Okay, stay right there. Okay, Mandy, we hold this. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So on this next one, your swing looks way better on the back swing. Okay. And even on the fall through, it looks better. The only thing is, I want your club to point that way when you finish. Just take a practice. Take a practice swing and do it. Okay. And then I'll move you over there. Good. So much better. Right there. Okay, so your club, I want your club to point there. That's oh, so weird. That way. Right? And that's a super duper big exaggeration, but I promise you, instead of the ball going this way, it'll go that way. It'll go straight up. Yeah, let's see. You want me to do it? Tape it. Yeah, go ahead. Where'd it point? Point it up there. Yes. And that's so opposite. I'm just trying to get him to feel opposite. It will actually probably change where the elbows are. And it, and it gets the arms across position. Another card around. Point it, yeah. So do one slow, like do it slow to where you can point it without changing it. Does that make sense? Just try to make it point at that circle over there. Good. Ooh, that's different. That's totally different, isn't it? <laughs> right? Okay, you think you can hit it just a little faster, not much faster, but get that same exact feel on the fall through. Back swing's pretty good. Good, better, better. That's all right. Slow down a little bit. Better. Point it. Okay. So the goal is today to kind of tie it all through. Okay. After the bounce, the bounce board is going to keep them from popping up. Obviously, we're creating the height. That's why we got on the circle. Okay. So that overall is way different. Doesn't even look the same. Okay. But if you could tie it together where that club feels like it points over at that wall behind you. Okay. So that would be the goal, but it's hard, right? It's not supposed to be easy, okay? So you gotta just go slow enough that you can get that feel, okay? Point it, okay? 
getting better? You see how different the position mm -hmm. of the elbows are? Yes! He's like, I'm getting it. You are so determined, aren't you? Better. Better. Okay, so now off the ground, onto the onto the ground. Okay. Same feel. Okay. Same feel. Way different. But he pops his foot. It's okay. That's okay. Right. That's, right. That's okay. He's getting it. It's not one to the right, is it? So you see, like just a couple of the things that we've already done has changed the outcome. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Okay? So you can change this very, very quickly. Okay? Nice. Give me five. That looked good. <laughs> so. Good job. Man, you want to get a couple this way? It's kind of harder this way. We can. So much different. Does it feel different? Does yes. it feel kind of better? A lot of work. Now pull those thumbs in. Pull those thumbs in. So here's the thing on these. You gotta pull the thumbs in towards you. So you create a line here. Pull that thumb in towards you. Band-aid thumb. Pull it in towards you. Like this. Watch. See, instead of like this, straight down, pull it. Pull it. Pull it towards you. Yes. Yes. Changes the angle position of the wrist. Okay, there you go. Okay, arms across. Yes. Huge difference. Okay. Who's that guy? <laughs> You're awesome. Looks much better. Okay, go ahead and pose.